I am super excited about today's unboxing. I am going to be unboxing my Mother's Day gift that I got this year. It is a bag from Gucci. So if you'd like to see what I got, just keep watching. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amber Marion. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, as always, welcome back. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Jumbo GG mini padlock bag from Gucci. That is a mouthful to say. I am super excited about today's unboxing. I got this bag as a gift for Mother's Day from my husband and my daughter, who you may hear in the background. Before we get into today's unboxing, please do me a huge favor. Take a quick look down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel by hitting that little red subscribe button and while you're there turn your post notifications on as well because I do a ton of designer unboxings here on my channel and if that's your thing you'll get a little notification every time I have a new upload and you can stop on by and watch it. So I know I've already said probably two or three times in the video in these few short minutes how excited I am about today's unboxing but I really... I think Brixley's excited too. I actually shot this unboxing probably about a week ago and I just didn't like how the lighting, my lashes, I just didn't like how it looked. And I'm actually glad that I decided to refilm this unboxing because I've actually worn the bag since I did the initial unboxing. Now that I've worn the bag for a couple of days, actually all of Mother's Day weekend on vacation, I have opinions about the bag that I did not have in the initial unboxing, so I'm really glad that I decided to reshoot it because I'm able to tell you some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't like about this bag. But as always, I'm going to insert close-ups and the actual unboxing of the bag right here, and then we will come back and chat. So now that you saw the details of the bag and how beautiful it is up close, she really is so cute, dainty, and beautiful. I will say, prior to getting the bag as a gift, I had never seen this bag in store. I had never seen this bag on a person in the street. I had just never seen this bag. I just was on the Gucci website because my husband actually bought my daughter a shirt to wear for Mother's Day from Gucci and was like, pick something out to match her. So I stumbled upon this bag and I was like, this is super cute. Now, I know the name is the mini padlock bag, but I was super shocked when I opened the box and saw how tiny she actually was. As I mentioned earlier, this is my second time filming this unboxing. So the first time around, I had no idea what would actually fit in here or how much room, just kind of what I would get in here. And I always say that my LV bum bags are big enough to fit my everyday essentials even though they don't look like it and when i tell you this bag does not fit your everyday essentials it does not this is not an everyday bag at least not for me somebody who carries as much stuff as i do and i feel like i don't even really carry that much she is still absolutely super cute and stunning however i was just super shocked at how many I purposely did not take my things out of this bag just so I could give you guys a more realistic view of what fits inside. So as you saw in the close up, there's only one card slot holder. In the bag, there's no zippered pocket. I would have liked probably like a two or three slot card holder just because then I wouldn't have to carry my actual card holder which kind of takes up a lot of room in here. I do 
like I said, it fits enough if you're just going out or if you just want a cute little bag to match your outfit. But in my opinion, this is definitely not an everyday bag. It does not fit my it does not fit my everyday essentials, but it was absolutely great for what I wanted it for, which was kind of like a vacation bag, a casino bag, because I was in Atlantic City. Kind of just a small bag that is close to my body that I don't have to worry about the straps, the handles, I don't have to worry about anything. One of the things that I've noticed since wearing the bag, which I wouldn't have noticed in the initial unboxing that I filmed, is that the hardware, if you can see, scratches very easily on the closure. I don't know what you would call this, but it scratches super easily. And I'm not used to that because any bag that I have, I don't know, I just feel like the hardware really doesn't scratch that easily because none of it is scratched and I don't, I'm, I really wasn't rough with this bag. I only wore it for probably two three days a total of like probably 18 hours altogether. keep that in mind if you are thinking about getting this bag the bag did retail for $13.50 which I feel like is a good deal for the size I do like that it comes with an adjustable strap so it can be a crossbody bag you can make it a shoulder bag you can carry it just as a handbag the adjustable strap goes into this closure right here. One thing that I thought would be really cool is to actually wear it as a belt bag and put the adjustable strap around my waist and kind of use the bag like that. I think that would be super cute. If you're no stranger to my channel, then you know that I love a bag that you can wear more than one way because I feel like for the price, I always say this, but I feel like for the price, you should definitely be able to get more than one look out of it so i do love the adjustable strap and the different ways to wear it that was one of the things that drew me to the bag i've wanted a piece from the jumbo gg collection since it initially launched but i just i just never picked anything up so when i saw that there was a pink version of the jumbo gg and it actually matched perfectly with my daughter's shirt i will insert a picture here of us on mother's day I just thought it was so cute and I actually don't have any pink bags believe it or not and I thought the shade of pink is my shade of pink and I just absolutely needed it so what's actually really funny about the bag is when my husband asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day I showed him that I told him Gucci is offering complimentary um monogramming inside of the bags for Mother's Day and I was like it would be really cool if you put mommy or Brixley anything like that I was like if you do get me the bag do not forget to do it so when the delivery came and I opened it up he was like um let me just tell you I didn't get the monogramming and I thought he was kidding he wasn't kidding he really forgot to get the monogramming but the monogramming would have gone right here she is just so so cute I absolutely love the structure I love the shade of pink it's not coming up its true color on camera so I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen from the Gucci website itself so you could see a little bit more of the color detail one other complaint I do have about the bag that I wouldn't have had in my initial unboxing because I hadn't worn it yet is while I do love the structure of the bag because it makes the bag the bag itself it gives it its shape it kind of is annoying when you're trying to get things in in and out of your bag things will fall out super easily because the bag does have such structure that it's not going to kind of like bend to get your hand in i don't know if i'm describing this i don't know if i'm describing this i don't know if anybody else in the world even feels like this is a problem but basically when you put your hand in rather than the bag move really things fall out so that's just something I would look out for if you are thinking of picking up the padlock mini bag from Gucci it's such a huge monogram on such a tiny bag I just think it's so cute it's actually perfect for spring and summer I love it it's great for vacation and like I said I use it as a casino bag basically I don't like to carry a big purse around when I'm gambling I just like something close to my body that I don't really have to worry about 
and this was absolutely perfect. So I think for $13.50, you can wear it a couple of different ways. It's definitely worth the money, but do keep in mind it is small. It does fit my phone in it as well. It also fits the Max version, right? That's the big version of the phone because my husband has the bigger one and I was holding his phone in here. So it does fit things that you could use for like a night out, but it's definitely not an everyday bag in my opinion. There might be someone in the world who all they need can fit in here. I'm not her, she's not me. But absolutely love it. So excited that I was able to get this for Mother's Day. My husband is really good at giving gifts, but he doesn't always kind of like take my recommendations. Sometimes he just gets what he thinks I want. And usually I love it. But I was super happy that he went with exactly what I wanted this year. And I love it. Super cute. Excited to add her to my collection. Let me also mention that I did wear it with the jeans. I didn't see any color transfer and I haven't seen the leather get too dirty. But like I said, I really only wore it for a couple of days, so I can't really comment too much on that. However, if you are thinking about getting the padlock mini bag, I highly recommend because it's such a cute bag it's such a cute style it's so different i haven't seen a bag really this style and the fact that you can wear a crossbody shoulder bag like this or you can use my idea and make it a little belt bag the possibilities are endless i wore it all weekend with the adjustable strap as a crossbody bag and it fell perfectly on my body right at my waist side. Sometimes bags with adjustable straps, it's kind of iffy where they will fall crossbody, where they will fall as a shoulder bag. This bag fell in the correct place, right waist level. And just for reference, I'm like 5'2". So yeah, right to my waist and was the perfect length when I used it as a crossbody bag. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you're hitting that little thumbs up button down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.